Hello Alleycats and new viewers. So today I'm doing part one of my May 2014 favorites. I know it's early, but since I'm going to Indie Pop Con at the end of this month, I decided just to do the first part now and then do the second part a couple weeks from now. So I'll just get started. I won't waste too much of your time, hopefully. But the first thing I really love this month is my new iPhone 5S, which it's not that different from a 4S, but it's a little lighter, it's longer, and I love that you can use your uh, thumbprint to turn on your phone. I love just how you can have a British male Siri. He flirts with me. It's awesome. I love it. And I just love my new phone so much, and my screen protector is pink. And it's, I've got a super cute case. Are you kidding me right meow? That's freaking awesome. I love my new phone. Can I marry it? Is that, is that legal? It's probably illegal. I, I would think that's illegal. But I love it though. Now moving on to books I love this month. First off, I'm only about 200 pages into this and it's over 800 so I've got a little ways to go. But I'm really really enjoying Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. This is what the TV show is based off of and it's just so good. And it's basically about these different families all vying for the throne. And it's set in... I, I don't know the era specifically. But there's dragons, there's gore, there's sex, there's cursing. I mean, this is a very mature read, and the show is very mature, but it's so good. So if you're interested at all in, like, fantasy, historical stuff, definitely pick this up and read it. And if you like the show, of course get it, because there are some similarities to the show, but there's some differences as well. So I highly recommend it, because, you know, it's really good. It's, I didn't think I'd like it this much, but I do. And the last book I loved this month was Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I didn't say Veronica. Veronica Roth. I love Divergent. Insurgent was pretty good. It wasn't as good as Divergent, but it's still pretty good. And I can't wait to read Allegiant, even though I've heard it's the weakest book in the series. But, you know, I've got to finish the trilogy. And I've got to watch the movie sometime. But it's so good. It's such a good franchise. And I can't believe I waited this long to freaking read the books. And now moving on to movies I like this month. There's only been a couple because I've been watching so much TV. There's so many TV shows on right now. It's cray cray. But the first movie I really enjoyed this month was Pitch Black, which I don't have with me. But my friend Daniel came over. I love to see Daniel, but he came over and we watched it together. And we're going to watch Chronicles of Riddick this week, which I'm super excited about because I've heard that's even better than Pitch Black. So I'm super excited. I like the story, though. It's a little confusing, but I did like it, and I'm glad he brought it over, I'm glad we got to hang out and watch it. It was a lot of fun. And the uh, last movie I really enjoyed for this part of the month is Resident Evil Degeneration, and it is a CG movie, but it looks so lifelike. I mean, the characters look like actual human beings. It's that good. I mean, it looks even better than the game sometimes, which, I mean, that's to be expected. It's a movie. But it's just so good. It focuses on Claire Redfield and Leon Kennedy. And I can't remember the, the specific virus. It probably says on the back here. Okay, the G-Virus. But the G-Virus attacks this airport. And then it just goes into chaos. It's just such a good story. It's even better than the live-action Resident Evil movies. And I just love it. So if you're a Resident Evil fan and you have not watched this, pick it up. Because it's not some cheap tie-in. It's his own standalone story, and it's so good, so well made. You can tell that the production values for this are super high. Now, for TV shows that I've enjoyed these past four weeks, I would say, I've been watching a crap ton of Game of Thrones, of course. I mean, how can you not binge watch that show? It's so good. But I've also been watching Salem, which I mentioned Salem in my last monthly favorites video. But it's so good. It's just escalated in how great it is with each passing week. It's gotten even creepier, and I love it. There's so many creepy aspects to this. I mean, I, it seriously freaks me out, and I don't get freaked out easily. The, but this show does the trick. But it's just so well made, especially for WG and America's first TV show. So check it out. If you like supernatural stuff and things involving witches and creepy things, and if you like scary horror movie TV show things, watch Salem. And I've also been watching a lot of Orphan Black, which, again, mentioned it last month, but Orphan Black has gotten better as it's gone along, too, and I just love the whole story. It can be quite convoluted, 
if you're not paying attention 100% because there's the Neolutionists, the Prolethians, there's all the clones, you know, you gotta pick up, you have to know which clone is which clone, and it can be very, very tough to figure out if you're not paying full attention, but I love it, and it's got this human element to it. That's one thing about TV shows and movies, if it's too fantastical, I can't get into it. I need a human element to ground sci-fi, and Orphan Black does that so well. So yeah, Salem, Orphan Black, and Game of Thrones are definite must-watches if you're mature enough to watch them. And as for the games I enjoy this month, I've played three that I've really enjoyed. First up was Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. You play as Miles Edgeworth, he's a prosecutor, and it starts off with a murder happening in his office. And you go through five cases, and you're not even in the courtroom. You're investigating crime scenes throughout the entire game, so it's not like the Phoenix Wright games. But it's still really good. The graphics are changed from the Phoenix Wright games because it's more sprite based besides when you're doing the um, counter arguments and stuff. But it's still really, really pleasing to the eye. It's a really fun game. I love the dialogue. The dialogue in every Phoenix Wright or Ace Attorney game is superb. It's just, they're just so, so much fun. And if you like visual novel type of games, and crime related games, definitely check out Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth for the Nintendo DS. And next up, I've really been enjoying The Suffering on PS2. And it's supposed to be survival horror, but do I get scared with it? No, I don't, because I don't scare that easily. But I still really enjoy it. The monsters are really grotesque looking. They have like blades on them. And you're basically a prisoner who just got taken to jail, and then this supernatural group of monsters takes over the jail and kills most everybody and you have to find your way through jail you're trying to escape you come across convicts there's a morality system it's actually a lot more complicated than it might seem like I know there's a sequel so I might pick the sequel up once I finish this but I've really been enjoying it and I'm kinda of surprised that I've enjoyed it that much and the last game which if you would like me to do a review for this game let me know in the comments down below because I'd be honored to but it's Child of Light. Child of Light. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. I, I can't even put it into words. There will be a written review on nerdybutflirty.com that I wrote. But I can do a video review. But this game is just phenomenal. If you have a PS4, a PS3, a 360, an Xbox One, a Wii U, or a PC, there's no reason not to play this. Even if you're not an RPG fan, this game is so simple to learn and control that you just need to play it. It's beautiful. It'll blow your mind with how gorgeous it is. It'll blow your mind with how just unique the game is. And I just can't praise it highly enough. There's only two down... Well, only one downside, actually. Twice, it's just randomly, you know, crashed the game itself. And I had to send error reports to Sony because I'm playing on PS4. But other than that, it's, it's marvelous. It's beautiful. I love it. So, yeah, check out Child of Light if you haven't yet. At least check out a demo or a trailer because it's really worth your attention. Now, moving on to my favorite YouTubers of the month, which I always pick great YouTubers who have great channels and great personalities because if a YouTuber doesn't have a great personality, I just can't be a fan of their channel because I need someone who's going to be very um, thankful for their subscribers who enjoys making videos. And if someone's just so rude and they don't answer to their subscribers and all that, I just can't you know, watch their videos. But all of these fellow YouTubers I'm about to mention are golden. They're fabulous. I love each and every one of them. So I'm just going to get the ball rolling. The, but first up is Electrowave36, who she is amazing. I adore her. She has recently started up her channel, I believe. But she's done a lot of, like, pickup videos and collection videos. And she's adorable. And go check her out and give her some love and support because... She's awesome. She's been such a great friend to me. So, I love you, girl. I love you. And, of course, you'll find all the links to the YouTubers in the description box down below underneath the music playlist. And next up is Project Fighter XX. And Project Fighter XX has been an alley cat for a while now. And he does, like, gameplay videos, collection updates, room tours, pickups, you know, all kinds of good stuff. And he's such a nice guy. And, you know, he, he needs more subscribers. I mean, he's got an awesome channel, and he's so nice. I mean, I can't stress how nice he is and how great his videos are. I'm always entertained when I watch them. And next up, I'm sure most of you people know this channel. You know him. But, you know, I'm a new subscriber, fan, whatever, so bear with me. 
but Metal Jesus Rocks. I love to watch his videos. My favorite videos of his are the Hidden Gems videos for like all the different consoles. I love to see games I may not have heard of or maybe didn't pay attention to when they first came out or whatever. So I like to watch those, but I also like to see all of his different like pickup videos, his top 10 lists. He does so many great videos and he's just an awesome guy. He's got such a great personality and I admire him so much. So yeah, definitely show Metal Jesus Rock some love. Even if you're already subscribed to him, show him some love. And next up is Return to Mother Base. Return to Mother Base is an awesome guy. He does like pickup videos, discussion videos for games he's played and what he's finished for each month and he's just really entertaining. He's got a great sense of humor. You know, he has great taste in games. So yeah, check him out because you'll love him. You'll love his channel, trust me. And the final YouTube channel I've loved this month has been lots of games. I'm sure several of you are probably already subscribed to him, but lots of games does all kinds of videos. He does reviews, collection videos, you know, he'll do lists. There's just so many different things he does, and he's just very professional, he's very outgoing and warm, and he's just got such a great personality, he's very energetic, and, you know, that's what I like to see in YouTubers. I like them to show their passion for what they're interested in, and I, want, I like them to, you know, interact with their audience and to be open to ideas and, you know, all this stuff, and all these YouTubers are wonderful, so go check them out. And, of course, like always, all the songs I loved in the past few weeks will be in the description box down below under the playlist, so go give the songs a listen. Tell me if you liked any of them, what you thought about them. Let me know, because I have weird taste in music sometimes, and I like to share it with people. Just like Glitter, the herpes of the craft world, because I love to share Glitter with people too. So that's it for this monthly favorites, part the one. Why did I do two? Peace sign. One. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because that would be super duper awesome. You know, I'll break into song if you subscribe. And if I reach 800 subscribers, I'm doing a photo shoot. So hit the subscribe button. And comment, let me know what you thought and what your favorites have been so far. And, you know, favorite so your friends and family and total strangers can see and share me as long as you do it nicely. I love each and every one of you so, so much. You're always my favorites. Peace and kisses. Bye.